What's up, YouTube Loop Troop and fellow Pokemon Pocketeers? Loopy Fist back again, helping you guys beat the last mission in the solo battles on EX uh, Pokemon, and that is gonna be the Ma Champ EX and Marowak EX deck. So I decided to throw in my control issue deck, control issues deck again. I think it's still really good versus this deck. Sometimes you might get some bad play. You can also have fun with it because it's a pretty fun deck to play. But being able to pull in the basic Pokemon on this is extremely powerful uh, with this deck. I think that you guys will have fun with it. And also, you also will be able to um, basically just kill everything if you get the uh, the Victory Bell in. And man, it's, it's just good. It's, it's grass versus fighting, so you're doing pretty well. Really fun deck. But this deck right here, let's go over the deck first. So we do have two Machamp in here, two Cubone, two Hitmonchan. We got a uh, and two Machamp lines um, and a Marowak line, obviously. We got two XPs, two Pokeballs, two Professor Research, a Giovanni, and a Sabrina. So we gotta we gotta make sure that if we ever got a Pokemon in play, that the next Pokemon that can come in, it can definitely kill us if we only have uh, like a ten point lead on it, because it can use Giovanni and Sabrina is there um, to kind of pivot us out. So we gotta be careful at all times, because this thing can kind of be uh, it's gonna be moving and grooving, you know. So let's um let's now that we've gone over that deck, let me show you guys the control issue deck. We went over it before, but I'm gonna show it to you again. So we got two Bell Sprouts, two Weeping Bell, two Victory Bell. We have a Pidgey line, but we got two Pidgeotos and only one Pidgeot. And we got two Aerodactyls, two Old Amber. Basically, the whole the whole game plan is get Bell Sprout out and start attacking this deck because this, if if it does get into the Machamp, it's gonna be kind of hard to kill it. Um, hopefully, if you do that. You actually have a little bit of a leeway with your Pidgey Pidgeot if you have it. Um, if not, Victory Bell can be put out and you can start pulling in Pokemon they play later if they do any base Pokemon. They don't really know how to understand that if Victory Bell is out, we should not play basic Pokemon. So uh, we also got Erica in here to heal our Victory Bell. So we actually have way more health than you would typically expect on the Victory Bell. We got a hundred more health to play around with. Professor Research and Pokeballs, you know what they're there for, help us pull our cards. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right. So we're going to be going first. We don't have a Bell Sprout. We do have a Pokeball, so we do have a Bell Sprout. And we're going first. And we also have a Weeping Bell. They don't have a red card because these decks don't have um, red cards. This is actually really good right now because we're going to have our Bell Sprout out. And next turn we can evolve it into Weeping Bell, so so that's good. He's gonna be able to attack it this turn, but that's kind of okay. We kind of don't care because we're gonna be able to kill him on Lee um, in like one hit with Victory Bell when we get a chance to. So really good for us. It's great that he has Hitmonchan. I'm sorry, Hitmonchan, not Hitmonlee. Lee, because oh no, he can't. He has Hitmonchan, not Hitmonlee. Lee. So Pidgey is probably gonna die. Let's go ahead and put out another. I don't think we really care about Pidgey as much. It's nice to have Pidgey, but it is what it is, really. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna retreat and go into Victory Weeping Bell. We know that he's gonna be dealing damage to us. It's okay. We can heal it when we get Erica later. We'll get Erica later and we'll be fine. Chillax, girl. Oh, I didn't end my turn. I was wondering why the computer was stuck there. I was wondering why the computer was stuck there. Oh, he's got the Marowak in there. He's got the Marowak in the sack. All right, great, 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 great. I'm still kind of terrified, just a little bit. I might pee myself just a little bit. Just a wee bit. We do have Erica, so that is good, but we don't have to use it right now. I'm going to not, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to end my, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to use Erica right now. <clears throat> we hope that, we hope and pray that Marowak cannot, cannot get any good hits with this. If he does, if he rolls well, then it just, uh, never punish. What was that? Did you say something, young man? What was that? I thought I heard a noise. I thought I heard a noise. What was that? What was it? 
Okay. Let's go ahead and use Vine Whip. We want to we want to kill this as fast as we can, which will be in two hits. It can't even use two potions to survive. Um. Okay. So. So we can use a potion now, and we can survive. We also have another one coming up, so that's also really cool. We, well, we, we can use an Erica, and we can survive another hit from 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 this. Wish I could pull it in, but I can't. Um, but that's fine. Oh, we can go to Aerodactyl. We might have to win with Aerodactyl. Who knows? We we'll use Vine Whip on Hitmonchan. Go ahead and get. Oh, he's not. He's not a. Wait, what is Hitmonchan? Psychic. He's an actual true fighting Pokemon. That's crazy. Didn't realize that was the case. Okay. Might as well use this. No reason not to. Oh, we got another Erica. Great. It's pretty much game over now. Oh, we can't use it. <laughs> we pretty much game over now. Yeah, we can't use it, buddy. Um, let's go ahead and let's get rid of this Cubone. I know it's you would think we want to kill Hitmonchan, but I need to kill this Cubone before he puts the other one in. This one is way better to kill. This, we don't want him to put another Marowak in. That'd be bad. You gotta you remember guys, you gotta think about what's gonna happen in the next turn. If he has Marowak, he'll put that one in instead, right? So Okay, so now I'm just gonna kill Like I'm still going to um This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal myself. We can kill that next turn. We can't, we don't want to kill Hitmon. We can kill, is this weak to Psychic? It's weak to Psychic. We want to try to kill this, but we can't. We want to do as much damage to it as we can. We can't kill it, but we want to deal as much damage to it as we possibly can. That way, if he does go into uh, my choke, we can still kill it next turn. See? Because even this, well, if he gets one hit with that, he'll be able to kill us next turn, but then we'll kill him back. So it doesn't really matter. We also have this now too. That's good. Oh, we got energy. Got energy, let's lay it down. Remember I told you guys, always make sure your Pokemon have, for the most part, one on each, one energy on each. So if anything goes in, should be good. Now I am going to Vine Whip. He's going to bring, he's gonna bring in Marowak but I can kill it in two different ways. So we're fine. Cause it, cause Marowak actually is weak to grass. <laughs> so I contemplated actually like doing two, two, two uh, decks versus this to do like a budget and then do a non budget, but I don't think it matters. He's going to kill, he'll kill that, but it doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to kill him with, um, with Pidgey. This is where it really comes to play. Your opponent has to think about so many different ins and outs. Um, we're gonna kill him with Pidgeot because we deal 70 damage. Um, and you know what? We never got to, we never, you know what? Actually, no, wait a minute. I, 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 I take that back. I'm gonna kill him with Victory Bell. He was sitting in the back line. How come I couldn't get good gameplay today like this in that tournament? That's what I wanna know. We know. We know. We know. There we go. So I almost beat this without losing any Pokemon, but he did get a little bit lucky. Um, and we ended up, and we if we would've gotten this Victory Bell out instead, we would've been able to win without losing any Pokemon. You can definitely do it with this deck without having an issue. And we should be about to, well, actually no, we won't get that other challenge. We won't get the challenge where you have to win with nothing but diamonds because I don't have a normal Pidgeot, but you probably do. And if you do, then you should use it in this deck and you should be able to beat this very easy as well. This was this is one of the easier ones to win. It has to rank up so so fast so so slowly because it has three levels. And unlike the Pikachu EX and the Starmie EX and the um the Mewtwo EX decks, there are no base um there are no base EX Pokemon in the fighting deck. Uh, eventually there probably will be, but right now there's not. 
And don't forget, you have to do this one over and over in order to get that. So that's what that comes from. So I do appreciate you guys uh, chilling and watching this. Uh, hopefully it helps you out. If you do need help beating the Machamp EX battle, probably not very many people do, but there's probably somebody out there that does have some questions. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy the content and we'll have more tutorials and more videos to come out later throughout the game's life. Uh, but I hope you've been enjoying the solo battles um, little episodes. But all right, you guys have a fantastic day. I've been Luffy Fist. You've been great. I'll see you next time. Peace.